Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me. This week's project, we are going to tailor a shirt and a pair of shorts. Now stores are still closed, so I don't have any new fabric to work with, nor have I found any in the dumpster. However, I did find an old costume in storage that's a bit oversized on me. So we're going to tackle that project and do a bit of tailoring. So let's get to it. So this is the costume that I am going to be altering today. It's obviously oversized on me. Number one, the arm holes are way too large. The shoulders are beyond where my shoulder start. You can tell it's like way too loose. I feel the shorts are a bit too long. Here there's like all this excess fabric. First time that I'm using Carl 2.0 and I'm really excited. I'm gonna flip this inside out and start pinning it through my measurements. Lederhosen literally translates as leather pants in Germany. Nope, different type of leather pants. These pants were said to have emerged in the Alpine regions of Germany and Austria as trousers of the working peasant community. Nowadays, we recognize these as the outfit of choice for October Bruh. 1st. I start by marking where my shoulders end to bring in the sleeves. Then, I pin along the side so it's not too baggy and is a bit more fitted. Make sure to leave a bit of space so that you can move freely while wearing the shirt. Once the pins are in place, give it a try to make sure that you feel comfortable and that it's not too tight. I'm trying not to poke myself or lose any of the pins. I didn't think this through properly. Uh, so I couldn't decide what I wanted to do. Whether I wanted to cut the sleeves or seam reap it. I am doing this very quickly, so I thought might as well just cut them out. I then sewed along the sides where I've placed my pins, doing this on both sides. Now it's important to keep trying your pieces on before you start cutting the excess fabric, just to make sure that it's sewn on to how you'd like it to fit. And here's another tip, if you're going to use an existing top as your template, make sure there's similar types of tops. For example, this form-fitting tight t-shirt was not the best choice as the sleeves are way too tight. What I should have done was to match another short sleeve button-down shirt as that would have been the correct fit. Once you've got your sleeves cut out, sew them at the bottom and start pinning them to your top. They should be turned right sides out, tucked inside the top, and then sewn into place. Now, remember when I said you should try things on as you go along? Well, here's why. So I gotta redo the sleeves because obviously this is way too tight. Yeah, no, it's not happening. So I'm gonna have to add some scraps. Again, this is just a costume. I'm just gonna add some scraps to try and extend this so that it's not cutting off the circulation to my arm. So what I did was I sewed on another panel into the sleeve just to make it much bigger. I'm gonna sew this on to the rest of the top. Now that I've got that in place, I have to figure out how I'm going to shorten these shorts because they were a bit long and also a bit loose down over here. But at the same time, there's an added challenge. This embroidery all over it, I don't want to lose and I don't want to alter and distort it. So I gotta figure out how to do this. I'm gonna deconstruct it and go through each of the seams to see how much of it I can actually take out. As I'm ripping out the seams, I realize that this is sewn on separately on the front and the back of the waistband. So when I sew it back in place, I'm going to repeat the same process so that the raw edges are hidden on the front side of the bottoms. Ta-da! Oh, that took a long time to do. So now that we have this taken off, we're going to take this down by about an inch and re-sew this back on. I made my markings about an inch down from the top of the shorts, pinned on the waistband, and then sewed the front part in place. Now that it's sewn in place, I gotta trim back the excess fabric here so that I can tuck this in and then sew it all down together. Make sure I'm cutting the right piece. Here we go, snip snip. So once it's cut, we just tuck everything underneath here like that. Once it's tucked in, just sew across the bottom here all throughout. So now I gotta take this part off and then take it in about three quarters of an inch so that it's not so bulky when I put it on because I tried it on and it's just like poof. While I'm ripping out the seams, here's a fun fact. The embroidery on the Lederhosen often signifies a certain region or town. Now, I'm not quite sure which region or town this costume represents, but I don't know if I've ever seen an animal with three antlers before. Hmm, interesting. I am guesstimating as usual. I hope that is three quarters of an inch. We don't know if that is, but we're gonna go with it. Yeah, we're gonna go with it. I'm gonna sew this all in place. Now that's all in place, I now have to figure out the harness. How I'm going to put this on and alter it because I gotta sew these little stitch lines on it to make it look consistent. 
As I adjust the straps on the harness, this gives me an idea on a future sewing project. BDSM and fetish wear perhaps? What I'm gonna do is snip this. I finish off the harness by replicating the stitch lines along the sides. <laughs>